Hey guys and welcome back to another Tasty Blender 2.81 tutorial. Today we are taking a look at particles. We're going to make a particle system that has partial self-collision. Now, if you don't know what that means is, basically if you want to have a particle system where the particles bounce off of each other, you would either have to use a rigid body system with lots of bodies and that really slows your system down, or you would have to use a molecular add-on, which is a very useful add-on, but we're trying to make this with what we have. We're gonna use the default particle system to make little spheres go around a bigger sphere, which is a really useful exercise in this case. Let's get into it. We're gonna open up Blender 2.81, delete everything in the scene, and we start working on it. We have to set up our objects. First things first, we're gonna add a cube. We're gonna move it on the y-axis, a couple notches back. We're gonna add a UV sphere. So one UV sphere, let's say, yeah, like so. And we're gonna duplicate it and move it back. And let's say scale it down a bit too. Choose everything and reset the scale. And now we start working on our objects. First things first, the collision object, which is going to be our sphere. We are going to set the collision here to damping 0.9 and to friction 0.9. And this is completely fine as is. Our particle, we're gonna name it particle, the other sphere, and our cube is going to be our system. So our particle system. Now let's set up the particle system. It's very important to know first how long your animation is going to be. So mine is going to be, let's say, 150 frames. So lifetime is going to be 150 frames because we want the particles to live as long as possible. Then we go to source, we select volume. If we go into rendered mode, we can see everything and we choose grid. We choose the resolution of about yeah, about so. And we choose the end of the animation to be number one. So we have everything in a grid. We can lower the resolution to, let's say, about eight. And we can move on to the next step, which is actually choosing in the render tab, the object. And the object is going to be our sphere. So our particle. Let's rescale it so that the particles barely, barely touch. So we have that type of size. Yeah, that seems okay. Now we have to turn off gravity for them so that when we play, they stay in the same place. Next step is to put a force field inside of the other sphere, which is here, again, in the center. And we're going to set the strength to, let's say, minus 15. And what happens is the particles are directly attracted to the sphere, but they don't behave like we want to. We want to have them encircle the sphere. So how do we do that? There is a workaround. There is a partial workaround in Blender in the physics tab. So before the physics tab, we choose rotation, dynamic. Okay, so we have this. So this starts happening. Now we want collision between them. But usually these particles don't have collision between themselves. So how can we fake that partially at least? Well, we're gonna choose in the physics type fluid. And basically what this does, it attracts the particles so that they behave sort of like a fluid. Now we can see we have a lot of them, so we can actually lower down the resolution because we want to just have them envelop the sphere. Now, if we want to set up this correctly, we also need the forces to be correct as possible. Right now, they are just a bit too strong, so we can either slow them down with the flow. So basically, the flow is going to, let's say, slow down the whole force animation. For now, it seems okay. Let's take a look back at our particle system and let's tweak it a bit. Now, stiffness is how stiff the overall structure is going to be. We don't want them really stiff, so we can leave it at one. Viscosity is the whole, let's say, the, the tension of the whole fluid, so we can play around with that. But I think the most important thing over here is in the advanced tab, which is repulsion factor, so how they distribute themselves, and we have the interaction radius. 
So as you can see, this radius is like enormous because they don't want to stay within themselves. So what we want to do is just fine tune this so that they get as close as possible. So let's say about here, but close as possible, but they still envelop the actual sphere like so. And last thing we can say is self-effect and the type of force. And we can set the force to, let's say, something very small, like 0.02, and choose gravitation. And what this does is going to create a self-deflecting effect in the whole system. Now, if we want to have them coming on the object and distributing themselves, we just have to increase the strength of our physics system. So basically it's just playing around with the fluid simulation part of the particle system. It's not, it's not foolproof because we still have some collision issues around here, but it's close enough. I mean, if you want to have this type of effect with the normal, let's say, settings, you would have to use rigid bodies it would take a lot of time to process in this way you get something that looks really cool but it's just reworking on the existing system so hopefully you liked this tutorial hopefully it helps you out with understanding particle systems and how to make your own animations if you really enjoyed this video uh, drop a like uh, leave a comment uh, subscribe i really appreciate that and thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video and see you in the next one bye